Hey guys, I'm Patrick Mealy, and today, for my first Olympic content video, I am uh, going to be uh, predicting which countries, which, which 10 countries plus the rest of them, will get medals at the Olympic Games in Paris in 2024. So, um, <clears throat> I'm pretty much looking forward to the Olympics in 2024. I can't wait to stream on Peacock uh, and NBC, plus... Uh, the rest, I can't wait to support my three countries that I'm rooting to, to go for gold. USA, Malaysia, and Singapore. And of course, to all of my viewers, uh, I'm looking forward to share my Olympic content until August 11th. So I cannot wait for the Olympic Games. So, yeah. So this is my first Olympic content video. Um, this is actually my first time using a new screen recorder, by the way in this video but anyway <clears throat> i'm using chat gbt or chat gpt to predict my uh olympic mail table <clears throat> for paris 2024 so without further ado let's 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 see my prediction on who will come out on top of the paris 2024 olympic mail table here we go ready here we go Three, two, one. Still waiting for a response. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Okay, so the United States is expected to lead uh the medal table with a significant number of medals. Various sources project the United States to win uh, around 37 to 39 gold medals. And Malaysia is projected to win between two and four medals in total with potential successes like badminton and uh, diving. Hmm. Singapore is expected to, w to win around one or two medals, likely in swimming and, and table tennis. I, I, I guess the United States will win like 37 or 38. I don't know. Plus, Malaysia is expected to win, like, like five medals. I'm not so sure. Plus, I'm expecting Singapore to win at least three medals. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay, guys. We're now ready for the potential standings for my prediction on who will finish on top of the Paris 2024 medal table for the Olympics. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. It is analyzing. <clears throat> the chat GPT is analyzing the standings. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Here we go. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. <clears throat> I'm very excited. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> wow. Well, 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 well. The United States. Well, 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 well. The United States is projected to win a gold. <clears throat> well, 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 well. The United States is projected to win 39 gold, 41 silver, and 33 bronze, while China is projected to win 38 gold, 32 silver. And 18 bronze. <clears throat> Japan is projected <clears throat> to win a lot of medals. Their highest finished. Their highest finish. Their highest finish since Tokyo 2020. Uh, 27 gold. Uh, 
the 14 silver and 17 bronze. Great Britain, 22, 21, 22. And Australia, 17, 7, and 22. Wow. <clears throat> How weird would be if Australia get the least silver at the Olympics? While the rest? Wow. That looks pretty decent. That looks pretty decent. <clears throat> and while uh, Malaysia and Singapore are projected to win at least a bronze or silver. I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised. <clears throat> I'm very surprised to see how uh, Malaysia and Singapore... Um, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens at the Paris Olympics in 2024 from July 26th to August 11th. So anyway, that that will conclude uh, the Paris 2024 Mel Table projections. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting, and I will talk to you again for the next video. Bye-bye.